All right, so far so good, but we still have a lot of work to do, but let's get to it. So let's figure out a way to actually display information about an individual film. And so we need to create a page for that. So what I'll do, I'm going to create a new folder on the pages called Films. And we will also create a new JavaScript file under this newly created Films folder. But how are we going to name this file? Because what's going to happen is if I click on the first film, I want to get information about that film. If I click on the second one, I want to get information about that one. Basically, this is going to be a changeable parameter for the root. So how do you handle that in Next.js? Now, if you're familiar with Next, you already know the answer. And basically, we just need to create a file, a JavaScript file, where we put the file name in between square brackets. And I'm just going to call this a slug. So in this case, slug is going to be a parameter that can change based on what we put in the URL. So if I put, you know, uh, slash films slash Star Wars, then slug is going to have the value of Star Wars. If I put slash films slash uh, Batman, then, you know, slug is going to be Batman. Now, this is especially useful because you can ask Next.js to do a, you know, get static props, essentially do generate all the pages ahead of time at build time. So it can basically go through all the pages that you have and then generate those for you. Now, we're not going to be using that purely because we will add some additional logic to this page where we need to make sure that a JSON web token is in place. We have to have some logic so we can't pre-generate stuff. So we can't generate pages at build time, right? Because at build time, we don't know if someone is logged in or not. So we have to resort to server-side rendering for this particular page. And we're going to do that by running get server-side props. So this particular page is going to be just a film and we will have a lot of code to add here. So I'm just going to say export default film. So first things first, how do we grab the actual value from the root and make a request to, of course, the, uh, the right place in Strapi? And the way we're going to do that is by typing in export async function, get server side props. And when we do that, we have access to the parameters. And because we have access to the parameters, we can basically extract the slug value from params. Now, the only reason why I can access slug from params is because I named my file slug. If I name my file square bracket ABC, then I would have to extract ABC from params, okay? And now we can do what we did before, const film response. And I'm going to say await fetcher. And that got imported, so that's perfect. And I'm going to call again process.emv dot next public strappy URL forward slash films and then I'm going to cheat for now, but we're going to call this the slug, but this is ultimately going to be uh, just the ID for now, but we're going to change to a slug in just a second. Um, and we don't need to populate thing just yet. Okay, so that's our film response. So we should see some data and we're going to return props film film response dot data. And Let's just move this up and then do the export after. Okay, so inside the film, we can now extract the film from the props like so. And what should we do with it? Let's, um, let's just wrap this in the layout. So return layout. And we're going to be, uh, there's a reason why we use this layout. There's going to be another reason for that. Uh, let's just make sure that it gets auto imported like so. And I'm just going to copy some code again because I really don't want to type all of this in. So there's an H1 element 
and theoretically we should be able to see film.attribute.title in here and I'm just going to leave this as it is now if I go back to films I already set this up where we go and iterate through the uh, the films actually it's in our film component notice that there is a link to film forward slash followed by the film ID okay so we, we do take a look at the film ID here although probably this should really be the link not an a element so I'm just importing that link okay let's start this up and let's see where this takes us okay so let's do a refresh and let's click on this first film okay so we get a page not found so let's just quickly see what is going on oh yeah okay so I named this films so I'm just going to rename this to film so that was my mistake there and voila look at that here's the title of the film so we are now actually getting information based on where we click based on the ID so now this is great but let's change this so that instead of the film ID we try to use the slug value so let me just save it in films.js in our component let's go back here and now if I hover my mouse over we actually get undefined apologies because it is attributes dot slug right so if I just quickly verify this in, in insomnia um, we do get I was reading the ID which is a top level property but I was after really the where is it the slug which is under attributes all right so now I fixed that hit save and let's see refresh this and there we go so look at the URLs they do have the values in some cases in some cases they are actually null so I probably need to go back to my strappy instance and and fix the uh, the fields but that's just a strappy thing but I'll you know do that uh, real quick which is probably just a quick error that I've done but if I just you know hover my mouse over this first link you do see that this is a nice slugified URL now so this is great but this won't work so if I click here this will of course not work why because inside slug.js right here I'm now passing in the slug to slash films but if you recall from strappy we can't really do that right for let me just open that 1337 slash admin and log in real quick if we want to see data via find slug we need to make an API call to this endpoint so we need to update our code so that we get slash slugify slugs model name that's film followed by the actual slug okay so theoretically if I save this then things will work and there we go look at that we have a nice slugified URLs and we do get the right data as well if I now go back to films and if I click on something else like this one now I get that info there as well amazing okay still we have a lot more to do in this um, slug.js file namely we need to figure out a way to display the reviews but we did say that the reviews will only be displayed if someone is logged in so that's going to be quite the work that we need to do but let's go and do that we're going to start in the next video